Your back is against the wall. Things ain't looking like you thought it should have been. What you've anticipated. Ain't nobody coming to your rescue. Everything that you've done for folks. And now that you done hit a tight spot. And the phone calls you've made to people that who you stood in the gap for. Now they send your call to voicemail. Why? What is you going to do right now? What is you faced with a situation and it's causing you to make a decision? Can I tell you? First of all, remove off the table. Ain't nobody coming. They not going to come. Get that in your head. Accept that. That it, there is no rescue. Not around the corner. Not even at your front door. But what are you going to do? Can I tell you? You're going to do something. Clear your head. And don't make no drastic moves. Your, your next move is going to be your best move. Let me tell you something. When my husband died. And after... We buried him and all of those things. Um, nobody didn't show up when we buried him. Now I'm faced with the money that he was supporting me with. No longer existed. Nowhere in sight. Not going to be returning no time soon. I have a daughter that's getting ready to graduate from high school. Everything is on me. The insurance policy that we had didn't come through. It might have fact, it wasn't even enough. So now what? I'm afraid. We've moved to a new place. And I'm scared to go in. Because this thing with death, I was afraid. I felt my husband's spirit in this new place that we were in. And nobody's calling me. Nobody's checking on me. My money is so funny that I couldn't even laugh at it. That's how funny it was. But I'm in a situation how I'm going to get out of it. Well, the first thing I did was I went into selling life insurance because I did not want what happened to me, what was happening to me at that moment in 2012. Somebody had to, to I needed to get this message to someone to let them know that this didn't feel good and the catastrophic bomb done hit my house and I wasn't prepared. Was it on me? Yeah, it was. And that's what you have to do. You have to accept that how everything has transpired and what it's done turned out to be, it's you. It's on you. But it's going to be also you that's going to get yourself out of it. So we moved from place to place. From 2012 to 2014, we was moving. And for five years, I was broke. But what? let me tell you something. What never wavered was my faith. My faith never wavered. I had to just accept what it was is what it was. I knew for sure one thing, though, that things don't last always. This, too, will pass. Just didn't know how I was going to get out of it and what was going to happen, but I stayed the course. Every month, they put an eviction notice on my door, a three-day pay, quit, get out, whatever. And every month, I never had enough to pay the rent. But see, one thing that God reassured me, they're not going to put you out. They're not going to put you out. And I didn't get put out. I was able to eventually catch up my rent. I had a relative, an aunt who had passed away, and some money came through. And I was able to catch my rent up and then move, but I was still struggling. See, there was still a lesson in that. And this is what I'm telling you. What you going through right now? Oh, it's purpose. It's not 
It's not for you to be like, you know, why stuff always happening to me? And this is a bad time for it to, hey, can I tell you something? It ain't never a good time when bad things happen to us, but it's God's timing because we're getting ready. You're getting ready to be escalated, to graduate to a whole nother level. But before you can go to that level, there are some instructions that go with it and you're going to get the instructions. He's going to prepare you. He's going to prime you. He's going to teach you. And guess what? Most of all, he's got your attention at that moment. And so you become, let me tell you something. I've been in church all my life. I had been in church all my life. I had praised God and, and all of the little things that I found myself getting into. And then, you know, somehow or another, things made a way. And, but it was nothing like when I started losing my family. When my husband was the first of the nine to go. And I didn't know why. God had eliminated. He swept my floor and he came back and mopped it because all of the people that I relied on, they were graduating to higher heights, to a new level. And this was going to be my time that he was going to use me. He was going to elevate me to be able to be now the mentor to my family. But mo most of all, be a mentor to myself. See, at the end of the day, you got to stand in your own gap. This is not the time for you to shuffle your feet and you start doing some strange things for a little change. No, this is priming season. This is planting season. This is watering season. You see what I'm saying? Because you getting ready to elevate to a whole nother level a whole nother level and you're going to be so sharp in doing it sometimes we have to just be okay with um when the rock is thrown through our window and the window is broke but we don't have no money at that time to fix it and we got this big hole in the window and it's cold and it's cold and we don't know we don't have anything to uh and right at that moment to cover that window up or to call someone to come and fix the window. Oh, you become very um, creative. You become very creative, but the main thing you become is you become a warrior. Huh? You become a warrior. You there, hey, this ain't the time that you become where you scared money ain't never want to fight. But where the money at? Because <laughs> I don't have nothing to fight with. Oh, but you do. You do. You have everything that you fighting with. And most of all, you got a testimony. You got a testimony so you can't throw in the towel. You can't because things, the, the, the crooked road has now become a ditch. And you don't know how, you don't have the resources to fill it. But you will and the lessons that you're going to get from it. And like I said, I have been in church all my life, but it wasn't until that catastrophic pitfall hit my window that me and God, me and the higher power, me and the creator had become best friends because I didn't have no friends in sight. I didn't have no family or no one that I could call and say, hey, can you loan me a thousand dollars because... You know, can you loan me a thousand dollars for the next five years to cover my rent? I had nobody. And I know how it feels to be out there and feel lonely like you don't have nobody. But I can tell you this, you got everybody. You got just who you need. You got you. You got this and you got that faith standing in the gap for you so i'm sitting out here and i was just like i need to share this with somebody but let me tell you what else after five years i was able i became a bus driver didn't even have no money to get to the bus yard to even to to get my credentials when i tell you i was broke <laughs> 
I couldn't even spell broke. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. That was as far as I could go. But little by little, because I never gave up, things started to unfold. Things started to appear for me. Things, you know what I'm saying? Just little by little. And the gratefulness that I had and the humbleness that I had while I was going through. And I became a bus driver. And some of my videos, you may hear me say that $10.50 was the best wage because I learned what to do with $10.50. I'm still a life insurance agent, still sharing with people that people come and go. But when you have, when you are doing life with someone, make sure that everything that you're dependent upon or or that's dependent upon you that you have some life insurance ain't nothing promise it's not to make somebody you know somebody's going to get rich or whatever but you have things in order if, if if you don't want things to change for your children you have small children and your children need you and you have a spouse somebody that's helping you with your children you want to make sure both of you guys are covered because what you've done, you have um, you have given these kids a lifestyle that they have be become accustomed to. And one of the parents of the other providers leave unexpectedly and now it's all on you. What are you going to do? Thankfully, I had raised all of my kids with my husband and we had this one girl left. And she was graduating that year that he left. But I learned something. And I learned how to get back up. And I learned how to stand up. And I learned how to cover myself. I learned how to cover the ditch that was a ditch. I learned how to find some gravel and put some water on it and pat it down and where it all fit. I learned how to fix the broken window. Matter of fact, I had the resources to be able to call someone and fix the window so I don't be cold at night. All of that. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, you may be going through. Yes, you may have just lost your spouse. But when I tell you you're going to get back up, you're going to get back up. And you're going to girt yourself up. And you're not going to stop. Well, you say, well, Charlie, well, I got this man or this woman who wants to come in and help me. Help yourself first. Help yourself first. Whatever it is that God is trying to get to you, you got to get that first. You got to get that first. You got to know ain't nothing promised. Remember that ain't nothing promised. And what you going to do with it. Things come leaving already and what you going to do about it if you always trying to find somebody to latch on to their leg latch on to god he got you and the lesson that you're going to get you're going to be so much more better for it and you huh, they say mama used to say uh you can't spend no wood nickels and that's real talk so you're going to learn how to cover yourself you're going to come you got a testimony you got a testimony just like I'm sitting here. I'm not sitting here telling you something that I think or what somebody else's story. I'm telling you my story. Go back through my other videos. Oh, yes. Every day there was a struggle for five years. I still have struggles now. But you know what? One thing that I know, what I learned in the struggle, that this too shall pass. So if you've lost a spouse, I'm here to tell you, you got the number one spouse that's rocking with you, that's rooting for you, your cheerleader. Ha! Hallelujah, God. Don't you stop. Don't you quit. Girt yourself up and keep on moving. Hey, learn while you in the classroom to learn and get everything that you're supposed to get. All right? I hope this encouraged you. I hope this motivated you. I hope this stirred up the gift in you. Huh? God got you, baby. It's your girl, Charlie. 
And I just wanted to say that to someone who needed this message this evening. Take care. Talk soon. Stay safe. Check me out. You see, I'm a notary. Back in stride again. Rocking my own business, baby. Peace be still unto you. Take care, and we'll talk soon.